Welcome. So here we go. What I want to do is show you how to evaluate our uh, trigonometric functions w for a given point on our unit circle. So the angle of our point is at t equals negative 5 pi over 4. So first of all, we need to determine where that angle is and what's going to be our coordinate point. So what I did was I drew up a little uh, portion of our unit circle to kind of give us the first quadrant of the certain points or very common points that we see on the unit circle. So first of all, we need to determine where is negative 5 pi over 4. Well, remember, pi over 4 is going to be kind of like halfway mark, right? So if I kind of say here's negative pi over 4, here would be negative 2 pi over 4, negative 3 pi over 4, negative 4 pi over 4. So here's going to be our point negative 5 pi over 4. As actually I already did this um, when I was looking into doing, uh, doing this problem before. So our point negative 5 pi over 4 is, is right here. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to determine what are the coordinate points for this. Well, at pi over 4, you notice it's square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. And what you notice is this is going to be exact reflection over my y-axis. So when you reflect over the y-axis, your x-coordinate is now going to be negative. So the coordinate point at negative 5 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 divided by 2 comma square root of 2 divided by 2. Now remember the sine, all right, sine, from now remember, represents the y coordinate of your uh, point. So remember, each coordinate point has an x and a y coordinate. So the sine is going to represent the y coordinate, which is square root of 2 over 2. And cosine is going to represent the x coordinate, which would be a negative square root of 2 over 2. Tangent is going to represent y over x, so it would be square root of 2 divided by 2 over negative square root of 2 divided by 2. You quickly notice that those two divide out to give you negative 1. The cosecant is going to be the reciprocal of sine. So I could say it's going to be 2 over square root of 2. Make sure you rationalize the denominator on this. And your final answer, you'd have 2 square root of 2 divided by 2, where those cancel out, so you're just left with the square root of 2. Secant is going to be the exact same thing, except you're going to oh, that's not negative. Except you're going to have a negative square root of two. So you're going to follow the same operations as you would with cosecant, except now it's going to be negative. And cotangent, remember you're just doing the same thing, but now you're going to have a negative square root of two over two over the square root of two over two. So therefore, again, you'll also be left with a negative one. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate for the given angle at negative five pi over four. Thanks.